What's going on YouTube? As I hit the cable, KG4FJC here. None of the fancy stuff. Um, kind of in a hurry to do this this evening. Um, but we did want to get back with you about the firewall settings so that you can actually port forward through your VPN that you set up or that we set up uh, a little while back. Uh, yeah, new job and stuff. Old shirt, <laughs> old hat. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's kind of get into it here. Um, what you need to do is you need to get into your uh, you need to get into your um, VPN server. OK, so let's do that. All right. So here we are in our VPN server. I don't know if you can hear that. Repeater's IDing. That's good. Okay. If you've gotten everything to this point, um, type in UFW, and yours should say inactive if it hasn't been set up. Mine is. Well, <laughs> you're right. UFW status. There we go. Mine's active, and I've got some ports forwarded through. All right. Basically, I'm just allowing the ports. Um, first thing you need to do is this command, right? Here. Ooh, I'm resizing my other screens. That's not good. Uh, first thing you need to do is this command right here. Okay, leave that up there. And that tells the kernel to, uh, allow traffic to go from one interface to the other. Basically, just forwards traffic through. So once you've done that, then on your UFW and whatever ports you're wanting to allow. Okay, you could see on mine where I've got 51820. That's for, you know, the wire guard, you know, just like it's supposed to be. Um, go ahead and do a port 22 slash TCP. All right. I'm not having a good day. All right, let's clear this out. UFW allow 22 to TCP. Okay, mine's already there, so it's, you know, skipping through. Um, this way you won't lock yourself out, which I've done, and it sucks. Uh, you can always go th back through the console, but you can't copy and paste on the console. You have to actually type everything, and I'm lazy. I don't like typing. As you can see, I'm not very good at it. So anyway, you're going to do that for all of the ports that you want to allow. Okay, so UFW allow. All right, most people are on 4570, or I'm sorry, 4569 for your uh, port forwarding. Boom. Now that just allowed it for both TCP and UDP. I don't really think it matters much. So, um, and then UFW allow... Is it a uh, 5038, I think, is the default? Um, you can specify whether TCP or not. Um, now, if we do UFW status, you'll see the ports that are allowed through. Easy peasy. Okay. Now, let me copy something from other thing, because, you know, the whole not typing stuff. All right. So what we need to do is we need to nano etc slash or nano forward slash etc forward slash ufw forward slash before dot rules okay that'll take you into this file and if you go all the way down to the bottom right here we need to add this table to it and these lines all these are going to be in the notes so don't worry and then here, okay, is our pre-routing, which tells it where to go to. So pre-routing, we're going to do a TCP port. We're going to go from ETH0, which is our, our internet-facing side of our virtual machine. All right, tells it which port, in my case, 23004. And where is it going to go to? In my case, I'm doing this one to 10.10.10.2. OK, you do that same format for all of your ports. If you're redirecting, which this one's not, but it gives you the example. This one's re redirecting port 80. And I say it's redirecting because 
at the end of where it's going to. I've got 80 here. I was playing with some stuff and I was redirecting it to different ports. Um, you, if you're not changing the port number, you can just omit this like these are. If you want to change an outside port to an inside port, this is where you do it. This one here is your outside port. And this one here is your inside port. And then this line right here, you need to have. Um, it will work in various ways, but without this line, it won't work correctly. Um, you need to have a post routing rule. And basically, this is telling it to change everything that goes through it. Um, this isn't post routing as in you're going back out of your VPN. This is still traffic coming in. This just changes the last part of the uh, IP tables. And what this does is it tells it to change all of the packets to look like whatever comes in on this here. In this case, this is my, uh, my public IP address. Okay. So your public IP address right here. And then it's the SNAT. Then we're going to control exit. And real simple. All you need to do is UFW reload. Boom. Now your firewalls are reloaded and now it should work through. So again, I'm going to put these in the, uh, in the bottom here and, uh, yeah, use, uh, use it. Let me know what you think. Um, that's what works for me. So it was a lot of trial and, and error. Uh, it took a while. So anyway, so this is a quickie and I'll just put it in the notes. Seven, three. Okay. I forgot to add a couple of things. Yeah, my bad. So, and I'm just going to put this video out of order so you'll see it. Um, if we go back over to here, okay, you want to do this. Nano forward slash etc forward slash sysgtl.conf. And if you come down to this one right here, uncomment the next line to enable packet forwarding for IPv4. Okay, it'll be commented out, meaning it'll have a, that in front of it. Just erase the, I call it a pound sign still do erase the hashtag <laughs> all right control x y and enter now it will be if doing it the other way it doesn't do it it doesn't hold it through a reboot but doing it in that file will keep it that way throughout a reboot so all is good there uh yeah so give me a give me a second here and uh I'll do a, a proof of concept through for the uh, port forwarding. All right, I had to redo my desktop a little bit here. Let's go for our web browser. Portchecker.co got no affiliation, just one of the first port checking websites that comes up. So again, here's my uh, public IP address on my server. All right, this is your cloud machine, your wire guard server. What do you want to call it? You know what I mean. All right, so we're going to check. <laughs> it's 6 p.m. We're going to check uh, port 80. You saw I had that one forwarded. Okay. Boom. Port's open. Another port I had open was 2304. Check that one. Boom. That one's open. So now the ports are open because those are hosted on my local all star node here. Uh, 471461, if you want, you can connect in. Because it works now <laughs> after a lot of headache um so uh that's basically it in a nutshell um when i get some more time which i'm not sure when that will be with project that's going on and stuff um maybe i can do a little more in depth on it but uh for now i'm just gonna quickly kind of sort of edit these put them together and slap them up there on boob tube so enjoy all right now really seven three from kg